Uh, hey guys, welcome to chessroads.com. Today in this next lab, I'm gonna show you a game uh, which was played between uh, Kramnik and Nigel Shot in 2011. Uh, it was a team championship. So here Kramnik is white and Shot is black. D4, Knight C6, Knight F3, D5. This is a Chigorin opening. Okay, we, uh, as we discussed many lines before, now I'm gonna say some few words about Chigorin. Uh, what is Chigorin and how to play? Chigorin defense uh, is a highly complicated and best way to confuse uh, your opponent preparation. But as likely every every opening, this is also a good for white. Uh, if you if you know uh, Chigorin opening well from uh, black side. Uh, black should be more aggressive and should be more attacking. Black should play more on pieces rather than playing on a white strong center. And most of the Chigorin, uh, we see we see a very uh, active piece play from the black side. And and uh, unlike in every openings, every T4 opening. If white uh, achieves in defending well, uh, maybe in any type of uh, end game, white will be better. So uh, after d4, d uh, knight knight f3, knights uh, d4, knight c6, knight f3, d5, c4, bishop g4. This is what is uh, the famous for Chigorin. After G bishop g4, white black simply plays uh, uh, most like e6 maybe, and in some variations he'll play more like e5. So let us see. Uh, after bishop g4, knight c3, e6, cd5, ed5. Okay, after uh, uh, cd5, ed5, bishop f. This was the most frequent move played in this Chigorin. The bishop on t6. Uh, simply attacks the c7 pawn and he can bring this rook to c7 keep some pressure on the c7 square so and also this bishop f4 is very important after playing e3 move this bishop will not come outside and there is one more thing uh, black should uh, somehow go to an end game where it will be better for black after uh, exchanging this uh, bishop on uh, d6 so bishop f4 is logic, uh, bishop d6, uh, bishop g3, this is a, this is one more key move, uh, now we already see many positions like this and uh, some positions we often see like most like bishop g5 later he can transpose to g3 but now immediately bishop g3, uh, white is simply uh, doubling the h file, h uh, pawn to g6 this is pretty good for white in this version uh, because uh, Chigorin is a kind of opening that uh, black will get a heavy heavy counter in the king side so after most like uh, hg6 uh, this position is not that much easy to uh, break from the black side so bishop g6 and he also don't want to uh, capture this if he capture he can simply take queen into d6 and he can do long castle later he can attack on the king side so bishop g3 is a quite uh, and a pleasant move knight g7 e3 queen d7 and now i think maybe black is planning to to long castling and so here uh, white is just uh, prepared for that and played a3 so after long castle he can play more like b4 and b5 maybe mm. even a4 a5 b6 was also good. so white gains uh, good fast attack in this uh, if black long castles so castle shot bishop d3 this a3 is also uh, prophylactic in view of even he can play more like bishop uh, b4 or he can play bishop d3 now there is knight b4 see the the main point of a3 uh, forgot to tell uh, there is a 
after bishop d3 or bishop e2 maybe bishop d3 is logic so after bishop d3 in this position uh, black can simply play more like knight b4 and maybe bishop e2 then c6 this will convert to a regular line now this d5 is well supported uh, now black uh, just simply can play his normal uh, uh, queen's gambit or even in this position there is no more weakness of c7 we could uh, either say in the both ways so c6 can also be played he can transpose this knight to knight c7 knight a6 maybe in knights knight e6 later so um, a3 uh, even the bishop e2 is also uh, can keep this bishop to b1 so such that you have to play rook c1 first and then bishop b1 but all the moves uh, is little problem so he played a3 in view of even he can play bishop d3 so castles bishop d3 a6 um, preventing simply knight b5 and b4 b5 or even he can play more like b5 bishop into d6 um, here uh, queen into d6 is a mistake uh, because queen to d6 this bishop on g4 is not supported pause this position and see what you can do in this position if you take queen into d6 yeah so it is a move right bishop into h7 king into h7 knight g5 and this bishop you can take with queen so um, queen into d6 is not there so if you capture with uh, uh, c into d6 this will be a terrible weakness this d6 d5 pawn and the entry of knight a4 to b6 is uh, devastating and there is a permanent weakness of this d5 pawn so black can simply can't afford this position to be uh, played so he simply took bishop into f3 which is a forced move queen into f3 queen into d6 now as we observed uh, as we learned the uh, chigorin wa uh, white is slowly uh, taking black to an end uh, which which may be a big problem for black even at least to try for a draw this position will it's very hard for black because white have a standard attacking plan but black uh, doesn't really have any at a good attack without any pieces so queen g3 white is keeping uh, standard uh, going to an end game rook f d8 b4 a very good positional move the um, the idea behind this move is uh, pretty simple uh, he can uh, just prevent this c6 c5 and maybe he can play most like knight a7 to c5 uh, and also he is starting at uh, started doing a minority attack uh, one should say this uh, position even this position you can get a minority attack even the pawn is not on c6 because uh, later after exchanging the queens maybe king on d2 he can play both rook to b1 and this rook to c1 he can push this pawn a4 b5 so let us see what he played g6 uh, i think this g6 is a um, bad because uh, now black uh, white really not uh, mm, this g6 is not really doing anything for one thing he said he may limit this bishop uh, controls on this bishop but that uh, is really not enough and even there is no more like knight f4 and also um, a most like f5 is also not working uh, good here so i think g6 is uh, not that much necessary at this position knight a4 so black uh, white continuing his attack knight c8 rook c1 
rookie seven castles so i think uh, uh, in this move castling is done but uh, what i prefer is uh, not to do castling instead uh, he could have captured this uh, queen on d6 and keep the king on d2 so if you capture with queen to d6 uh, black capture maybe with pawn into eliminating the weakness on c7 and i so controlling this square white can simply maneuver this knight to c3 attack this d5 and bishop e2 bishop f3 attacking this d5 so uh, i think castling is also um, okay not that much good not that much bad uh, b5 now b5 is uh, like a forced uh, forcing things for white now after b5 black is left with a backward pawn on c7 which is uh, very bad so he needs to bring this knight on b6 to c4 to cover this weakness on c7 after doing that white can simply play more like e4 and so b5 is uh, definitely a mistake so after b5 queen into d6 rook into d6 uh, here white played a good move see most of us uh, will like to play this knight to c5 but in this position after playing knight c5 white can black can simply play more like knight b6 and sits this knight on c4 there is a uh, black now has a very good defensive chances there is nothing that uh, white can really do and he can transpose his knight to e7 and also close with c6 later he can push a5 to activate this rook so both having their own plans even after knight c5 uh, knight b6 uh, maybe a4 is also possible and after a4 he can sit on knight uh, c4 a b a b is also possible maybe rook k1 he also can keep a pressure like this so knight c3 here knight c3 was played a very good position now he is simply threatening to play knight into d5 after knight into d5 rook into d5 bishop e4 and bishop into c6 and left with the bad c7 pawn white is already pawn up and the c7 pawn will soon um, fall in down so knight c3 is a good move now you have to move this knight knight in 6 e7 now pause this position for a few minutes and try to uh, try to analyze this position and see a good move for white which may continue in a uh, in a winning position okay fine uh, i hope you uh, you saw the idea behind knight c3 the first idea as we said to take knight into d5 and there is uh, another idea that is bishop into b5 uh, the reason why this is good because i think this is the uh, only way uh, that white can get advantage or else uh, most like c6 if you allow a most like c6 knight b6 and this position is hardly any black have hardly any chance to win this position c knight c4 and we can see this position uh, that black can even try for a advantage in this position after knight c4 so bishop into b5 is good move simply because uh, he gets two pawns for a rook and uh, for a rook uh, sorry two pawns and a rook for uh, uh, so rook and uh, two pawns yeah so uh, here he played uh, rook d6 supporting this rook and also uh, attacking with a3 pawn 
night into a seven, rook into a seven. Rook c5. And knight b6 was there in the game. See here in this position, uh, there is uh, it's very risk to capture this pawn uh, because after rook into c7, this pawn uh, is uh, having a free way to go, and also uh, there is a threat of rook c1 and rook into c8 or rook into e7. So it's a pretty risk to capture this uh, rook into a3. So Nigel shot uh, simply played knight b6, rook a1, king f8, a4. Now you cannot capture with uh, rook into a4. Rook into a4 is mistake. Uh, uh, in view of uh, simply he can capture rook into f4, nine into f4. This is uh, pretty hard to defend from black side because of the spawn. And even white will have a simple uh, advantage, even simple advantage to win this game from this position. Or at least uh, white is having a plus equal uh, between plus equal to plus minus. So after rook, uh, maybe knight a, knight a4 is also a mistake because you can play more like rook a5, forced to take rook into a5, b into a5. This pawn is a uh, very dangerous one. And maybe knight uh, c3 because knight really don't have any wood square, knight b5, a7, forced to take rook a This is very pretty easy. So a4 is good move now. He's threatening to play a5, and the one more thing is uh, simply eliminating the weakness of a3. King e8, a5, knight c4, rook a2, f5, king f1, king d7, king a2. Here black uh, played a mistake by playing knight d6. Uh, this uh, this knight d6 uh, allows uh, um, white to play more like uh, b5, which was played in the game. The idea behind knight uh, d6 is to play maybe c6 and sit this knight on b5 permanently, such as these two pawns will never go, and black can try to hold on, but. White will simply play b5, not allowing the c6. After c6, he can simply play b6. So there is no way that white black can stop these two connected pass points. Knight c4, rook a4. Uh, rook a5 is a blunder because of rook into c4. Simple threat. And even knight a4 is blunder of uh, rook c2. He'll play rook a2. So rook in rook a4, king d8, a6, knight b6, rook a1, knight e c8, and so uh, see this position now. Uh, black has successfully defended uh, this both balls, and there is nothing that white can do. So he just want to create one more weakness on the other side so he played h3 very good now he's playing g4 and transpose this rook to other sides as so that black cannot defend uh, both the sides h5 pointing g4 but still g4 a very good move hg hg f into g rook g1 knight e7 rook into g4 knight a4 Rook h4, pretty good move. Uh, the only way that uh, can be missed is by playing this move. If we capture uh, knight into c5, maybe uh, d into c5, king d7, rook h8, and see the idea of white. There is no way that I can prevent this. So if we play as uh, knight c uh, most like uh, c6 then 
b6 is winning b6 rook into pawn b7 rook check king f3 maybe rook b2 and queen rook into this is a easy win so uh, knight into c5 is not possible mm. and even after knight c5 d c5 king d7 rook h8 now there is no rook moment and this knight is also uh, pretty passive here yeah. knight c6 maybe and king d2 it doesn't need to capture this knight knight b4 rook is on check rook is on check king here rook um, rook h4 and rook a, knight a6 is mistake because of uh, rook a4 so knight c6 rook a check king d7 king c3 so pretty easy win mm, so after c6 rook h8 king c7 rook c2 knight b6 rook h7 king uh, b8 b into c6 rook c7 king f3 so i just consolidating the position rook a2 knight b8 rook b8 and here uh, uh, so black simply blundered by taking this pawn on king into a6 so after king a6 rook h1 now the idea here actually after king into a6 rook h1 uh, black simply resigned in view of uh, rook h8 maybe after knight c6 you can check check knight a5 rook double and lose the piece so this was a uh, very good uh, game in a chikorin variation hope you enjoy this game uh, please don't forget to subscribe and leave comments uh, see you in the next video bye